Okay, people, puppies are off. How cute are they, right? They like to sleep on the couch. When you come down, they do this thing. They want belly rubs, so we gave them the belly rubs. And uh, now we're getting set up because we're vlogging, okay? It's been a while since we've done this. They got me this contraption thingy, okay? To walk with or whatever. I'm going to smash it. I'm going to break it. I am Mr. Like, no technology. It spins. It does this. And I tried using it on the first shot, if you saw, when I was walking down the stairs. And I did this, and the thing spins, and I can't. Then when I want to push on the puppies, it doesn't work right. So, no. We're going to go old school. Old school. We're going with the old uh, simple, basic. That's how I am. Like my putters. My putters are like this, too. Very simple, you know? I don't need all this freaking mumbo-jumbo stuff. So, anyway, we got World Series of Poker. It's happening, okay? And first things first, I wanted to say that I know it's been a weird year for a lot of you guys, year and a half now. Uh, going on in the world and I imagine this vlog for a lot of you is kind of like an escape right from what's going on in the world so my word to you we're gonna keep this vlog every day about the poker about you know stuff going on in my life we're gonna leave the news the politics the COVID stuff we're gonna leave that out obviously if something goes on at the World Series you know related to COVID and all that we'll talk about it when necessary but for the most part uh, let's 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 leave this as an escape for y'all for me and have some fun with the World Series of Poker. Um, I'm ready. You know we're 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 starting at 3 p.m. today. It's 11, so morning pro plan is gonna be coffee. I'm also gonna introduce you to a new meal plan or food delivery service thing called Sakara. Okay, so Sakara offers plant-based nutrition, which is what I do, and it's three meals a day. You got a breakfast, lunch, and dinner about five days a week good gourmet stuff, all the high-end superfoods and this and that. So that's going to be our base for what we eat. But I'm also going to have some fun, man. We're going to this World Series different than probably some past ones where I don't have no rules, man. I'm just going to do what I do. If I feel like having an Impossible Burger, I'll have one. If I feel like eating some chocolate, I'll do so. If I feel like working out, great. If I don't, no big deal. The focus is poker, 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 as I said. So let's get the day started. My morning plan, what I've been doing lately is so this is, I fill this water. This is just a full bottle of water I get from my Keurig over here, purified, blah, blah, blah. So water's to start. Then, of course, thank you, Adam Schwartz from the Dat Poker Podcast. He introduced me, because I'm, I'm, I'm Canadian, but I haven't been there in a while, to Tim Horton's Dark Rose Coffee. I use those Keurig pods. And then let's take a look at the first Saqqara meal of the series here. It's a spiced apple, par apple parfait. Thursday breakfast, in case you don't know. And it gives you all the cute things made with love. Whitney and Daniel, how sweet, right? So then it gives you all the ingredients that are on in here and stuff like that. And that'll be a yummy little start to the day with a coffee. All right, one other cool thing I want to show you that I've been doing lately. Hmm. And we can watch them grow as the months go. As I do this, I, I mean, I've done this before with the Smart Garden. It's called the Click and Grow. Uh, or whatever. It's Smart Garden Click and Grow. So you see these little baby pods, right? They're kind of almost like little, you know, uh, coffee pod things. And in there, this one, this guy hasn't grown yet, so the cap is still on. But you see this little cute little thing. So right there, I got, I got two of them. I got over here, too. I got another. Just started. It's only been about a week since they've been growing. Very easy to use. You just fill, like, uh, this tab right here with water. And then when that, when that starts to, you know, go down, and you refill it. And what I got, I got some tomatoes, some cute little tomatoes. We got strawberries. I got chili peppers for the wife, some lettuce, uh, basil. Yeah, all the good stuff. And it grows natural and fresh. Feels good. And it's pretty cool, this little, little contraption. I don't know. Pretty neat, huh? The light goes on for 16 hours, and then eight, eight hours it's off. Kind of like 
I don't know, that's how stuff grows. All right, next step for the morning is we, I mean, listen, this is, it's, this looks like a lived in house, right? You got crazy toys over here for the puppies. You got a big mess. You got a huge blanket, pillows everywhere. Cause I want to be comfortable, right? That's what we do. So this, this little shindig I did here, that's a pillow with a pillow where I put my legs up. Um, and that's where I lay. And then I'll get on my computer and look up some hockey stuff. And then of course we'll turn these bad boys on three TV set up. Nice. Right, buddy. I said, nice. Okay, and we got him these steps because he see how he just fires up them because my poor baby Rocky, I don't know, you're four years old now, right, buddy? You're four years old and you don't jump as well as you used to. This big boy here, he jumps no problem. But I don't know if he hurt his back leg or something like that. Did you hurt yourself, little bugger? And it's been a bit. So we got him these stairs so that he doesn't have to deal with that. Right, bud? Hi. I know what you guys want. Later. Well, we set up for the day here. I got my chess games going. Don't ask me to play because I'm not going to say yes. So I'll play my moves in the morning and then I'll go to the athletic. And this is where I typically do most of my reading for hockey stuff. Because this year is going to be different, right? This is what I've been reading lately, the Don Decision uh, previews. And let's see what we got. Who's, who's up there now? All right, we got Calgary and St. Louis to read today. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a different year because we're going to talk about hockey because hockey's going on. And look who's here. It's Patty. What's up, Patty? How are hey things? Good. Getting, yeah. getting the RV ready. Your life's a lot better recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll just leave it there. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just say I'm very happy. She's a happy woman. <laughs> Whee! All right. So Patty's here to grab some stuff, to head down to the RV and fill it up, and we'll go down there in a minute. But in the meantime, let's click and see what Dom's model has to say about the Calgary Flames. All right, people. First drive-in video of the World Series of Poker. You guys remember this was a thing sort of like you know what do you call it uh, rusty right but we'll make it work uh, a couple things i want to touch on first and foremost a lot of you guys that had a piece of me in 2019 or whatever of the package for the world series of poker got refunded but i offered just those people uh, an opportunity to buy a piece of the entire package and we've sold that but in addition to that for all you guys watching the vlog after you watch the vlog you're going to have an opportunity depending on whatever day's event it is to buy a piece of me at no markup, okay? I could charge lots of markup because I'm really, really good, but I choose not to give you guys a chance for the sweat. So I'll put up 25% of each daily event that I'm playing um, on Pocket Fives. So the way to, well, that works, you go to pocketfives.com. Uh, you got to set up an account, of course. Click on the staking tab. You'll see a whole bunch of people. I know Elkie's out there and you got Felipe Ramos. And you got a whole bunch of people posting. Jonathan Little also got packaged up on Pocket Fives. So check that out. You can use Stripe or Bitcoin or whatever. And that'll be fun. So today we have the 25K horse event. I did put up a piece for that and it sold out. Yay. All right. So uh, 25K horse. What the heck is horse, right? Horse is limit poker, hold'em, Omaha high-low, Raz, stud, stud eight or better. That's it. Yeah. Five games, all limit poker. 25K is a new event. We've never done one of these before at the World Series of Poker. And as is customary, I always catch the light right here. I don't know if you guys can see now because the camera angle is different. Whatever. Same light as always. Um, so yeah, 25k horse, new event. No idea what the field size is going to look like. I've already set up my stuff with the clear app and the this and the that with the account. So hopefully I can just go right up to the fast track machine. Voila. Je suis prêt. And, uh, and play right away. So we're going to be there. For, we're going to be there early because I just want to check out some the situation. A couple guys were hammering at me about where the RVs are now because the RVs are in a different spot than they were um, maybe a little bit further away whatever but we're gonna make it work we're not gonna get all riled up on day one that's not for day that's like that happens usually by week three four when I get a little crazy so I'll um, calm and right, we made it we are officially here at the RV uh, we got Christian he's the man the myth the legend who does all the things you know and uh, we're gonna, you know, I'll show you the whole setup of what we got going on, but there you go. You got a nice little spread of chocolates and crackers and kale chips and what else we got in there? All kinds of yummy stuff. Of course, we got the bedroom. I'll give you a full tour another day. I got my little coffee set up right here. Purdy, purdy, purdy. Well, did you, you brought the creamers, right? Creamers in the fridge? Yeah, <laughs> all right. So a lot of guys were bitching and complaining because the RV, well, the RV guys, because it's like hashtag you know, rich people problems. It's like, oh my God, it's like two minutes now. It's two minutes from the poker room. Richie, you know, Richie Finn. I can't take it. It's two minutes away and it's nighttime and it's dark and blah, blah, blah. We'll be okay. 
Okay, so upon further reflection, I got down here, checked out the RV situation. It's totally fine. It really, it really is. Hashtag first world problems. If you're worried that it takes literally two minutes rather than 30 seconds. We even got our own set of steps here to walk down. Look at that. Fancy schmancy on our way inside the Rio. Again, a little bit different, but uh, we, you know, we're making the best of it. We're going to stay positive. Haum. Things we got to do before we enter because, uh, you know, it's this rule where if you're walking around doing whatever, you got to mask up. So we're going to mask up. We got our special little GG poker on one side, World Series poker on the other. Yeah. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, had me thinking they friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up. We are here, ladies and gentlemen, inside the Rio. We got a line. I imagine this is the clear line registration whole spiel. We're gonna head over to registration ourselves. All right, we're gonna use the fast track machine. All right, pretty quick and painless process. You go to Bravo Live, punch into your account, and you get your little tickets right here. And we, what's up? How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, Ali, we're in a mask too. All right, hey, what's up? Let's do it. It's been a while, right? All right, we're vlogging, so say hello to the people. Hey, hey, the Put your mask back oh, on. What are you man, doing? Man, sorry, sorry. Oh my God! Add it up, add it up. Bankro, bankro. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. What you said? This is from Phil Helmut. Keep from going. From Phil Helmut. Yeah. Said, the biggest tip of the tournament. I said, what, Phil? What is the biggest tip? He said. Don't show up in time. <laughs> Look at me. Me and Daniel are 10 minutes ahead I'm of time. I'm always on time. Yeah. He said, if you come late, it's a big advantage. For right. him, it is because he's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but look uh, who's here. All the early birds, right? So it's us three-handed right now. Uh, yeah, we travel three ways, right? Okay. <laughs> As you can see, the room is pretty open for now. There is the Thunderdome. All getting set up. Dealers here working, all masked up, right? Here we go. This is going to be us for the next six weeks. And, uh, yeah. All right, Remco in the house, starting purveying the action. Tape. This is starting table. We got, uh, I, don't know. I don't know who any of these people are. I'm not sure who that guy is. You can't really tell with the masks. I heard he plays some of these games, but not all. You Do you, you play more than hold them? First time. Stud yeah, eight right. or better. Nice. All right, stud eight or better. I'm in. Alrighty, looks like we're officially on break number one. Head to the trailer real quick. Nobody bother me. All right, so far so good. We got about 160,000. You start with 150, you know, easy peasy, early stages. You don't expect to have a lot of chips, you know, swings and whatnot, but uh, feel good. Two hours, solid, solid poker. Then a uh, oh, beautiful day, man. Weather is perfect this, this time of year. I like the weather this time of year. One thing is the same with the World Series of Poker in that it's important to layer. So we got a GG hoodie under here. Then we just went into the trailer and got this big sweater thingy. And then we got this hoodie because if you're on the wrong seat and you got the air blowing on you, it can be chilly. You're not on. You're okay. How you doing? Good. How you been? All right. Sure. Did you get high carded? No, no. I'm just going to sit right here. You wouldn't believe what our high card was. What's that? The high card was a five of spades. Wow. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna eat his face on this river. God, I can't wait. Check. Eat shit. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, river. Yeah, I called you Ace King of Three. <laughs> I've seen you do weirder things. True. Go. Go. I need to play that song. You smoke. The last five days I've been playing. I had like a fucking play. I've been trying to get it. It's like you missed one spot on the back of your head. Did you know that? I always do. There's like a real, there's a hair. 
underneath the crevice. Yeah, well, right don't... there. Now it's on video. Oh, I was going <laughs> to say, oh, who? <laughs> Daniel's that up to me. All right. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, it's cold. Like, some seats where you sit, depending, like, you run under a vent, and I'm, like, fully bundled up, and I'm still freezing. Good news is, chips-wise, I'm up to... Did I go the wrong way? No, I didn't. Chip, chips wise I'm up to about 165,000 which is fine um, but cold cold for sure yeah and I got to get a good night's sleep tonight because last night I checked my app thing and it says uh, a little bit of a restless sleep maybe because I was excited you know but uh, we're gonna have another coffee probably maybe some Sakara dinner we'll check what we got in the trailer and uh, enter level uh, yeah play level five when we return all right for dinner we got what is that? Sedona Chipotle chili, olive oil, cornbread. Looks pretty good. Yum. Rasty, say hello, Rasty. I just, you know, the people in the vlog need to see what the hell this is. What's going on? Are you, so you're an actual crypto pub? Yes. Hollywood, uh, what do you got? Halloween early. <laughs> I am, I'm representing my avatar in the tournament. I like it. <laughs> I would have, I would have, I would have fooled all right, not the best level at about 130,000 now from 150. We're on two bluffs today so far. One in Limit Hold'em, that one worked. One in Raz, that didn't. Just got rivered by a flush. I'm not going to give you hand breakdowns for this one because it's too complete confusing for most of you and we don't put up the graphics. We'll do that for no limit. They'll be back, I promise. But in the meantime, break time, coffee time, run it up time. Hey, it's run it up time. We got plenty of chips. We're good. Not worried about it. All right, I know I said I wasn't gonna do hand breakdowns because it's horse or whatever, but I got a fun one to tell you about. I'll tell you in the trailer. Sup, how we doing? I'll tell you in the trailer, okay? Two seconds. I two specific hands. The first one I was mentioning before, it's a seven card stud hand, okay? I limp in with a jack up and I have nine, 10 in the hole with two hearts, just, just two hearts total. Jerry Wong, a very good player, raises with a queen. I, of course, call getting a decent price. He catches an eight off suit. I catch a king off suit. I check, he bets, I call. On fifth street, he catches a three, nothing. I catch the queen, so I make the straight. And so now, of course, I decide with my beautiful board, jack, queen, king, I bet out. He raises me with queen, eight, three off suit. Okay, I re-raise him, he calls. So now I know he's got like at least two pair of trips. On sixth street, he catches an ace. I catch like a seven nothing i don't need anything anyway and now he bets again he leads into me and i raise him again of course with the straight so now i know he's got trips right just for just what he has that or aces up or something like that but my hand is face up everybody in the world knows what i got to play the hand the way that i did so in the end he checks and i didn't and obviously i just already had the straight and i decided you know what his board is pretty live outside of the queen so he had an eight three and an ace and i didn't see any of those anywhere and i didn't have them in my hand so it's a very good chance that he's going to fill up here in a tournament i decided to play the safer route and i decided to check it back with the straight because my hand is so darn face up it's like there's really nothing else i can have there i mean i'm just not bluffing with a pot that big so in a spot like that i decided okay uh it wasn't worth risking two bets to win the one in that spot but you know it could be i don't know you figure out the math whatever then a couple hands later ace raises jerry again John Raisner calls with a seven. I have the ace of clubs up with king five of clubs in the hole playing stud high. So I re-raise and whatever, we get to sixth street and I don't know what John's doing. He's calling seven, four, deuce, nine. What the, this ugly board. And then I noticed the dealer did not split the pot. Like he was leaving the chips in front. I'm like, oh shit, this is fucking high low. I play the wrong game. Okay, so it happens sometimes. You play the wrong game. Luckily, my I made kings. I won half the pot. So it didn't hurt me too bad. Good news, we're up to about 260,000 from 150. We've got two more hours left. Very, very happy with the stack. Very happy with what I'm playing, except, you know, for the one hand that I played the wrong game. Oopsie. <laughs> and on the bag, we just need your name, new table, and new seat number. <laughs> we all done for the day back at 2 p.m tomorrow gotta call it a successful day end it with 272 what's up champ um the last 10 minutes i lost i had like 360 i lost two goofy hands well not goofy i don't know stud eight i had ace deuce three five eight and a pair of deuces and the guy made like a six low and a flush 
And then the same guy, he raised my big blind and limit hold. I call king nine. Flop was king jack three. I check raise. Turn an eight, I bet. River three, I bet. He calls. I'm like, sweet, give me the money. He has ace king. It's like, okay, sorry, bro. Sorry for being in your pot. You know what I mean? Anyways, y'all, that's day one. World Series of Poker vlog in the books. Uh, bedtime, sleepy time. I actually felt pretty good considering the, you know, the late night thing. And that was one of my concerns, but felt pretty good. And we'll be back at it tomorrow. Peace, y'all. Me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what, told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's